Hello and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So today we are going to discuss that how we can solve cubic equations with the help of Cardan's method. Okay, firstly I am telling you how means what are the general steps according to Cardan's method and thereafter we will do an example so as to bet, have a better understanding. Okay, have a better understanding. So let's begin. You are given a general equation, cubic equation. So the first step is make sure the coefficient of highest power, that means a coefficient of x cube should be 1. So, to make it 1, you need to divide it with a, right? x cube by a, bx square by a, c by a, d by a. Okay? Now, let's say this x cube, this is a, so it is removed. This is x cube, let's say this is l. M, N. Okay. Now, your next step is to remove, this is your step 1. Your next step is to remove, basically what we are going to do in quadratic method, you need to transform a cubic equation into a quadratic equation and then after we know how to solve a quadratic equation by using splitting the term method, or we can use um, whatever there are quadratic formula, right? Whatever the means are. But first of all, this is a general form cubic. Then to remove the x squared term, you need to remove x squared term completely. For that, you need to take care that your x should be, your y should be x minus minus L by 3. Okay? Your Y should be X minus minus L by 3. Alright? So, you can see here, your L is, L will be the coefficient of X square. Once you will get this, then you need to substitute this Y into the formula. How? See, if you want to have X, what it would be? Minus minus plus it will be minus L by 3, right? So substitute, third step is substitute this value of X into the equation, into main equation, okay? Once you will substitute it, it will be like, this is your main equation. So, once you will substitute it, it will be like y minus l by 3 cube, l into y minus l by 3 square and so on, right? So, it will form something like y cube plus py plus q equals 0 in the form of this, which will not have x square because you did this step to remove x square, right? Then after what you need to do, you have to consider your fourth step is let y is equals to u plus v. Why? You will understand. y is equals to u plus v. Now, cubing both sides. On cubing both sides, this will be y cube and a plus b whole cube is a cube plus b cube plus 3ab a plus b. Right? And you can put this 3uv, u plus v as y. So this would be u cube plus v cube plus 3 u v y. Right? Now, this is your second equation. This is your third one. If you compare both, if you take this into left hand side, it will be your minus 3 u y and minus u cube plus v cube. Right? Equals 0. Right? Now, if you compare second and third, what will you get? Y cube is okay. Your P will be the coefficient of Y. P is the coefficient of Y here. So coefficient of Y is minus 3 U V. Correct? So P will be minus 3 U V. Similarly, this is constant. So Q constant is this. So Q is minus U Q plus V Q. Alright? Now, if you Find out the value of uv. So uv will be minus p by 3. And here u cube plus v cube is 
minus q, right? Now listen what I'm going to do. If you cubing both sides, then you will get the form of u cube, v cube, p cube by 27, right? Isn't it? Now let's say u u cube and v cube are your two roots. u cube and v cube are two roots because we are transforming into a quadratic equation. So u cube v cube are two roots of any particular equation let's say t square. If we will have roots then how we can find out the equation quadratic equation. You know the formula variable square minus sum of the root square plus product of root. Isn't it? So, let's say u cube and v cube are two roots. So, sum will be u cube plus v cube and product u cube v cube. Right? And you already have got the values of u, uh, u cube plus v cube which is q. So, minus q t. Right? And u cube v cube is minus p q by 27. Thereafter, you can solve this. How? Because this is a quadratic equation. So, you can solve it by uh, any of the method like quadratic formula or splitting the term method. Okay. Once you will find out the value of t, t is basically what? t is a variable having two roots this. So, it will solve. The value of t will give you the values of u cube and v cube. Right? You will have two values, u cube and v cube. You can put them and then thereafter you can find out the value of u and v as well by cubing, by taking cube root. Once you will find the value of u and v, you can put it here. You will find the value of y. Once you will find the value of y, you can put it here and you can get value of x. So, but this x and y will give you one set. However, this is your cubic equation. So, you should have three set, three roots, right? So, for another root, you have got x and y. Make the equation from it, okay? Make the equation from x and y and solve it with the help of quadratic formula splitting the term method. Let me tell you how. I know this is a brief of what we are going to do in the formula. In the question, using this formula, you will get better understanding after doing an example. So we will begin with an example in our next video. And if I hope you like this video and if so, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Take care of yourself till my next video. Bye-bye.